Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode in my scent detection series. In today's episode, we are going to be teaching our dogs how to indicate when they find the correct odor. This is a very simple process. The way that I like to do it is simply show the dog what I want them to do when they find the odor. Again, we always wanna keep in mind that concept of predictability. This process is very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the normal routine that I would when I'm doing scent detection. But when she gets to the odor, instead of using the terminal marker and rewarding her right away, I'm going to tell her to do the behavior that I would like her to perform when she finds the odor that we're trying to teach. So for me, I'm using the word down or the command down. Once she gets to the third cinder block that has the odor, I'm going to tell her down, then I'm going to use the terminal marker. This will start to teach our dogs that when they get to the odor, they need to lay down, which will then predict the release and the reward. It's very simple. It should look something like this. Search. Down, free. Very nice. Good girl, Ari. And then we take our dog and we bring him back to the platform and then we rotate. So I noticed that she just skipped the first cinder block or maybe it was the second one, but I'm gonna move it to the very first position. If she goes right past it, then we're gonna have to reset. Search, down, free. Very good. So she went right to it, which was excellent. Come on, Ari, climb. Move the cinder block again. Search. Down. Free. Very good, Ari. Climb. Very nice. All right, we're going to move it one more time. I'm going to keep it close. Same exact thing. Search. Down. Free. Good girl. Very nice, Ari. Climb. And again, when you're doing this exercise, you wanna do it where you have the lineup with the cinder blocks, then the buckets, then the boxes. You wanna do it in the circle formation as well as the elevated platform. Again, helping our dog become more generalized. I'm gonna do one more with the lineup here. And I'm gonna make her work for this one. We're gonna put it all the way in the back. And then I'm gonna show you guys the next step. Search. Down, free. Very good, Ari. Good job, sweetie. Come on. Nice work, nice work. Climb. Okay, so you wanna do this for a good amount of time. You wanna get your dog really understanding that when they smell the odor, you're then going to tell them to down. They're gonna lay down. Then they're going to hit the terminal marker. They're gonna jump up and they're gonna come over and they're going to get the reward. Remember the concept of pattern recognition, predictability. Meaning if they start to notice a pattern, then by default, they'll do the behavior without you having to command them. So right now, of course, we're telling our dog what we want them to do. We're saying, when you get to that odor, then I want you to lay down. I'm going to help you out in the beginning by telling you this. So instead of confusing our dogs, it makes it very simple for them to start realizing that you want them to do that behavior, which will become the indication for our search or scent detection. So now the next step, after you've done it with all the different locations, the elevated and the, the circle formation, then what you wanna do is you're going to get to the container that has the odor. You're going to tell your dog to do the behavior that you want them to do as the indication. But instead of using the terminal marker and rewarding them right away, you can use a little bit of verbal praise if you want. So we're gonna work on the duration and we're gonna continue to pretend as if we are searching because we want our dogs to get to a point where when they get to the odor, no matter what the human does, they know that we want them to indicate and maintain that position. This is very important. And this is how we're going to do it. You have to make sure you have a good commanded position and your dog knows to stay. All right, so I'm gonna move it forward because it's gonna be hard to demonstrate this if it's on the very last position. And again, so now I'm gonna walk. Once we get to this one, I'm gonna give her the command to lay down. Then I'm going to continue to move to the other cinder blocks till I get to the very end, 
hoping that she maintain that she maintains the position, then I will come back and reward her. So it should look something like this. Search. Down. Good, good girl. Free. Very nice. And then if you want your dog to look at the odor or look where they found the odor, then what I do is I just wait till they look back or you can repeat the command to search. And then the dog will look back to where the odor was and you can mark and reward. Some trainers like the dog to continue looking at the odor the entire time until they're given the release. One of the best ways to do that is to get a PVC tube, cut a hole in the back, and then that way you can actually reward through that hole. So you can get your dog to look at the reward, free, and then you can give it to them when they're able to take their head out and they learn to keep their face looking at it. So that is an option if you want your dog to maintain focus on the location where they find the odor. But I really like to do this technique. I'm going to show you again. Search. Down. So she continued to follow. If that happens, bring your dog back and try again. Down. Good. Search. Free. So you see right there when I said search, she looked back into the center block, showing me that that's where it was. Now you're also going to run into the problem where a dog is going to do what's known as a false indication. She did it a couple times right in the front. She just laid down. She goes, can I get a reward on this one? Okay, how about this one? Then she gets to the one that actually has the odor, and that's where she gets the reward. If your dog starts to do a false indication, don't get worried about it. Don't become stressed out. Just continue to do the pattern. Don't reward the dog when they indicate on the wrong odor or when they indicate when there is no odor. All right, we're going to do it again. We're going to move it to another position. All right, here we go. Search. Down. So she went past it. So again, we're going to swing back around, which is going to happen. Down. Good. Search. Free. Very nice, Ari. So I had to recommand it one more time to help her out. Again, getting her to put her nose back into the muzzle. And you're seeing we're hitting a few speed bumps here, and this is going to be common. She's getting frustrated. She wants to get the reward very quickly. She's trying to indicate on cinder blocks that don't have the odor. And she's also skipping cinder blocks. So what we want to do if they start to skip, we block them from being able to move forward. This is why I'm using a leash right now. I want her to make sure she searches every single cinder block. So we're gonna do another one up at the front position. We're gonna see if she's gonna go past it. Search, down. Very good, Ari. Search. Free. Very nice. Good girl. Free. <laughs> Give her another reward. Excellent work. All right. Again, start by once they get to the odor, tell them the commanded position you would like them to perform as their indication. Use your terminal marker and then reward them. When your dog becomes more confident and you've done it in multiple different exercises as far as the circle formation, the elevated formation, as well as the straight line formation, then get it to the point where you're saying the command once they get to the odor and you continue to walk as I demonstrated in this video. And you wanna keep doing this up until the point where when your dog gets to the correct odor, even though you don't say anything, they still indicate and they do the behavior correctly. Let's see if Ari is good enough to do that right now. Search. Come on, sweetie. Ooh. Jump, jump, you got it. Good 
Good, Ari. Search. Free. Nice job. Very good. So you can see she's starting to understand the concept. She's not there 100% yet. She went by a few times. She questioned herself. And you're going to see that with your own dogs. But the more you do this exercise, the more your dog's going to understand it, the more confident they're going to become, and the more clear the behavior will be. And you will have a dog that knows how to indicate on the odor that you're teaching them. Now, while doing this exercise, you can also use toys as your primary reinforcer if you prefer to use that over the food. The way that I do that is I like to do a little thing called the magic trick. I showed you guys this before with the food, but we can also do it with a toy. So with Ari, I'm going to use her tug toy, and I'm going to act like I'm hiding it in each container. So in order to do this, I'm going to release her from the climb. Break. Down. Place her into it. Down. Climb. Now I'm going to allow her to watch to see what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna take the toy and I'm gonna act like I'm placing it into the container and then I'm bringing it back and putting it in my pocket. And then I'm acting like I'm placing it back in to the pocket, in the container, pocket, container, pocket. And then I come back the other way. And then once I get to the last one, <laughs> she's gone. And so now, depending on which step your dog is, will depend on when you're going to reward them. So we'll do it where she gets to the container. I tell her to down. Once I get to the end and she maintains that position, I'll use my terminal marker and allow her to come get the toy. Now, also, when we're doing this, we don't have to get super excited and try to get the toy out in one second. All you have to do is say your marker within one second of them doing the behavior and then take your time bringing out the toy. So it should look a little something like this. Search. Down. Search. Free. Good girl. And then I can play with her. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Out. Center. Whee. <laughs> Climb. Out. And this is going to be the same way that you can do it no matter what step you're in with your scent detection training series. You can use a toy instead of food. But just like I demonstrated here, remember you don't have to get the toy out super fast. It's about saying your marker the moment the dog gets to the, the odor. So let's say we were at a more, uh, an earlier step in the training, then it would look something like this. Search, free. Good girl, you see how like calm and relaxed that is? She knows she's getting rewarded for finding the odor. Out, down, attack. Very nice. Oh, good girl. Out, center. Pew. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Climb. Okay, so that's it. Very simple, but really easy and nice way to use toys to reinforce the behavior you're trying to teach your dog. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.